Hello, welcome on my solar system. Next up is installing software. So we've done some customization already. Wallpapers, every one minute I get a new variety of wallpaper. Alt T, I don't like the picture. Key, custom keyboard. Alt arrow to the right, give me the next one. Don't like this either, but don't want to delete it. And so on. This time we're going to install software. We're going to go to the software center and have a look what are the possibilities, what software can I install on the system. So there's another possibility, there's this one. You can have a look at this and decide whether you like it or not. Just a button to click. But this is the third party element, so that's it. There isn't any more. And this is the standard core repository, so the place of solace. If we go and focus ourselves now on icons and themes, we should go inside here. This is the element, this is the desktop we're working on, budget desk, budgie uh, desktop. So this is what we have. Uh, it would surprise me if everything was not already installed. So I don't think we we'll find anything here going to press Alt-T, new wallpaper. What I'm going to do is go for this one, desktop theming. I want to change the icons. I want to change the theme. Is that possible? Yeah, that's possible. This is a theme. So this is the panels and the menu and all that. And even the Raven panel, this one. You can change the colors of the theme. And then you have the icons. So the icons are these things. These are icons. You can change those as well. The thing is, what to install? You don't know what's good or not, so you really have to take a guess and say install. Now, that's one approach. Another approach is Ctrl Alt T. Go to the terminal and see if you can install sudo pokg install a shortcut for install is it it department that's how i remember it so it what i see it icon something so no won't do it you really need to know the name and there you go i press twice tap and elementary icon theme is there so elementary icon theme, if you press enter and then give the password, elementary is already almost installed. There you go. The thing is, I did not click on the button because the button actually does this. What's behind the button is this. Now the idea is as well, number three, right mouse click. No, I can't make a new fold, new file. I can only make a new folder. So I'm going to make a new folder. That's okay. Folder name is scripts. The wallpaper is too bright. Control uh, Alt T, better. So I have a folder scripts. And in the folder scripts, I want to have a file. So, okay. What software do I have already to make a file? So I type text. I have the gedit text editor. Okay, fine. I work with this one. Open what? No, I don't want to open it. I want to save already. I don't have anything I know, but save as. I'm going to go to my home, to my desktop, my scripts, and I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it like themes, of icon themes. This actually was installed actually was an icon theme. So icon theme script. Icon theme scripts. Why am I explaining this to you? Oh my god. You see what happened? Should be here, of course. Save. I was searching instead of saving. So here we have a document. I right mouse click it. Tell the properties to be an executable, allow executing file as program. And what I'm going to do, 
I've, I'm gonna remember the elements I liked. Copy. So next time around, when I want to install again the same icons and themes, it will be here. So we're gonna save this here. One moment. Let's continue. We have to tell the system that it's actually a program and that will be done with this icon. Oh, it's very dark. I'll make it better. Then bash. I can't even read it and I'm sitting in front of it. So let's help ourselves. Go to preferences, go to font color, we go to this color, make it a little bit bigger as well. Everybody should be able to read it. There you go. So with this line, the system knows, okay, I have to execute this thing. And then you can write anything in top like so. Here will come here. I am gonna put all the nice items and so on save so that's also a procedure making a script that you later say open terminal and you say give me run this of course nothing is to be uh, is run as it is already installed but you know what I want to do so you figure out, this is what I like. You can actually make a line, a copy, a line, and keep it for later. So you know, you remember, those were the nice elements. But we haven't seen yet if it's a nice element or not. So let's have a look. You go to the system here, Raven, item team. Ah, damn. We can't see it. Why? Well, that's because but she has not seen the new icons. Are the new icons there? Yes, they are. We go to icons and where are they? Elementary. So these are the icons we want to see. Let's have a look. Voila. These are the icons that are there. They're installed, but he hasn't loaded them yet into this panel. Huh. What can we do? We can make ourselves easy because logging off and logging on is not a possibility for me. I can't uh, film them. So what I do, I install something else. I'll go for a search. I want to tweak my system. Is there anything to tweak? And here you have a GNOME tweak tool. So the same thing applies for I don't know why this doesn't close. Now it closes, but now I get a pop up, of course. Voila. We were stuck. The pedals are stuck. Anyway, so this is a tool to change the icons. So we might as well do the reflex. Oh, that looks nice. I want to have that tool for next time. So you press Ctrl Alt T. And you see how that's called exactly. Gnome tweak does enough. So this is something he understands. Use tab to complete your sentence. Save for next time. This time we're gonna run our script. So this is our script. Right mouse click, open terminal. The name that's why I like it transparent, so I can see through it and say okay, it started with icon theme. First one is installed, second not so, he installed it. So he says, no packages to install, yeah, because this is installed, this is new, he's installing, installing, extracting, configuring, configuring, installed, done. That's how it goes. So if we're gonna look again for the GNOME tweak tool, then it should say at some point in time, I don't know, it, should, it will say, it doesn't show it yet, so we have to go off and then gonna try it see when he knows 
now he knows. So if to finish the program and the software center then reloads everything. And it sees, ah, it's already installed. Okay, where is this GNOME thing? This tweak thing. That's the tweak thing. What you can always do is when you run a program, you pin it to the panel. You should say it's an important program, I want to have it there. And now we can change our files. Let's do that as well. So you go to the files and pin that one as well to the panel. So this look, that's icons, this or icons. When we change it here, elementary, we'll have a completely different look. This is the look of elementary. You like it, you hate it, but this is the look of elementary. That's what we installed. Now comes maybe a good, interesting thing. How to get rid of something you don't like. You can go to Control Alt T, and the other way around. That was our installation script. That was our installation of our elementary. So I'm doing arrow up. If I just go here into my arrows, and instead of install, I say remove or rm. I give my password. And there you go, it's gone. So I have to close this little program, open it again. And you'll see it's no longer there. I'm gonna choose back for Arc. So that's removing and installing and, and uninstalling. Can you uninstall in a different way? Yes. Let's have a look. So let's quickly reinstall it. Elementary icon theme is reinstalled. That's easy how it is. Just have a, a script with all the things you install. Kickaboo. And then you can install everything. How can we uninstall it? Yes, can we do that here as well? So I have here this program. What was it called again? The elementary, I think it was. Elementary icon theme. It says now not install, but a big, a big button to remove. And that will conclude our movie. And now it's gone as well. So you don't need to go in the terminal, but it's, I find it easy to go in the terminal, but everything is available in the Solus software center. So that's um, a, sh a first exercise in installing and uninstalling removing two ways software center way terminal way script way and um, have fun installing stuff